Hey, glad to see you guys back here once again on the channel. Today we have something interesting to take a look at. Now they're a little bit late to the game, but XFX has just released their version of the RX 480. Gamers certified. Now out of the box, this thing has a standard base clock of 1288 megahertz, really, really close to the Red Devil there. It's got a 256 bit memory interface, eight gigabyte GDR5, you guys know that. 2,304 of those lovely stream processors. So this card is ready to rock. But what's really interesting about this card isn't so much the card itself because there are a lot of 480s out there. What separates this one from the pack, however, is their hard swap fans I have right here in front of me. They come in three different colors and you can change these things out to any color you want. So you want your card to be all white, you got white lights. You want red lights, hey, you got red lights. You want blue lights, hey, you got blue lights. So any of those kind of lights you want, you can put in the card. Now, I wish it would have had three fans because then you could have went red, white, and blue and had it all American. But with that said though, let's jump in, let's do the unboxing, and then let's check out how these fans are and let's do the fan test. Let's go. So first off, folks, let's check out the box itself. You guys can see it's the XFX version of the Radeon RX 40. Like I said, they have some of their own things here. Gamer certified, VR ready, all that good stuff. No need to focus too much on the box. On the back, it just talks a little bit about more of their technology and their type of things. But you guys want to see what's actually inside this box. So let's pop the cap. Let me get it outside of the box there. And and there we go. And then also when you get it in there, it says XFX right on the top of the cardboard. So your boxception is on the move. Pop the cap. <laughs> Once again, we see more stuff on top. This should be the accessories pack. Let's see if there's anything in there. Nowadays, since the drivers are available online and stuff, most companies don't give you too much other than sometimes. Wow, I can't believe I'm having this much trouble getting that little simple thing, but uh, there we go. Okay, so inside of here, we've got the driver CD. That was cool of them to give that. And then you have two six pin to an eight pin Molex connector. Good to go, set that off to the side. I believe that's all there is as far as other stuff goes. There's a little manual inside of here, just tells you about different parts and different things and about the installation. I think most of my viewers out there have installed many of a video card and you guys know exactly what's up. So that's pretty, pretty much unneeded. And beyond that, the box is empty. So go ahead and close the box get that out of the way. Well, let's take a look at the card itself inside of its anti-static packaging pop that out. Now, here are the two fans on the front. Hard swappable, like we said. Pop these bad boys out. Very, very easily. Both sides actually there. Get that out of there. Boom. Doing pretty good there. So yeah, you can see actually what I really like about this too is a lot of times when you're looking at a card, you can't really see the aluminum heat fans. You can't really see the copper heat pipes. But with this card, if you get in close, you can actually see all that stuff really well. And uh, that's just a pretty cool thing. So we'll get back to that in a minute though. On the bottom, nothing too special. It's just simply your PCI interface that you stick into your motherboard. Nothing too much exciting there. Flip around the card at the back, you can see the two ends of both the heat pipes. On the top of the card, we see the XFX logo. This lights up as well. And one thing really cool that I like about all the AMD cards are gone or any type of crossfire fingers. That's one thing they definitely have over Nvidia. You no longer have to use any type of thing to do your crossfire connection, which is cool. As far as the card's measurements go, the card size is in at 28 centimeters long by 12.4 with a dual slot design. As far as power requirements go, the 8-pin power connector requires 150 watts and XFX recommends a 500 watt power supply minimum to power up your card. And as we flip the card around to its backside, you see something that I am well known to love, and that is a durable backplate. I love to smack on these, and you fans out there who freak out, I hope that you're right now getting all giddy about it. Ah, but no, it's tough, and I like it. It looks really, really good. So last but not least, we have the rear I.O. On the rear I.O., we see a single DVI connection, three display ports, and a single HDMI 2.0 connector. So that's the card. Now let's check out how really cool these HSF fans are in action. You guys saw earlier in the video how easily I was able to remove the fan. They also pop in from the other boxes just as simply. I mean, this is as no brainer as you can get. The current color scheme is red, white, and blue, and each different color costs about $20 a box, but you can make it any color you want or a combination of the two. So what do you guys think? I think it's pretty damn awesome that you can hard change all of these different fans to different colors. Hopefully they'll come out with even more colors in the future so you have more options. But right now that's it. So it's time for me to take my ass to the lab and do some testing and then bring you guys the full review. So I'm Elric, you've been watching Tech and Amar, and hey, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Do you guys think this shit's really dope? Cause I do. Peace.